Welcome to another exciting After Effects tutorial. This time we'll learn how to achieve a hand-drawn cell animation look entirely in After Effects. As you may already know, After Effects has no option to make a real frame-by-frame -frame animation, as Flash or any other dedicated animation software for that matter. Therefore, we'll have to fake it to make it, as in the example you can see here. First, we need to find proper footage for our needs online, either with Alpha Channel or Green Screen. You may also use regular footage, but this will require doing some tedious rotor jobs, which we want to avoid at all costs. Please also make sure the footage you use can be freely used and you don't violate any copyrights downloading the footage. Okay, so we download the footage, then we import this into After Effects, and then we have to treat it to get rid of the green background. For this purpose, we use the key light effect. Choose the green color we want to key out. Let's place some layer, maybe a red one, below it, just for contrast to make sure we got rid of all the background. Okay, it looks good. Let's now add the Triton effect to get rid of the middle tones, so we get closer to the black and white version of our image. Still we are not there, so we still have some job to be done. We still have to crush those gray areas. To do this, we'll add the levels effect and adjust the input black and white input to the text. I think at this point we can also distort the edges a bit to make the edges less predictable. For this purpose, we use the roughen edges effect and adjust the border. I think somewhere in the range of 4 or 5 will do in this example. So we need the black edges around the cow. To get it, we'll duplicate the footage and add two more effects to the bottom layer. First, we use the fill effect and change it to black. This way we have the image of the cow entirely black, as you can see over here. Next we have to extend the edges of the image below using the simple chalk effect. When we shift the edge to the negative value, I think somewhere around 6 or 7 in this case will do. Okay, and voila, the footage is done. Let's play it and see what it looks like. As you can see, the image plays very, let's say, smooth and nice. And I think at this point we can also try to add the roughen uh, effect to the bottom layer once again to make it a little bit more distorted. But this is up to you. Additionally, you can also play with this footage and make it a little bit stop motion. And we can do so very simply by changing the frame rate of the composition over here. For this purpose, we'll go to the comp settings and change the frame rate to, let's say, 12 frames per second. But in order to preserve this frame rate in another comp, we'll go to the advanced uh, settings and click on the preserve frame rate button over here when nested. And all we have to do is just nest this composition in another composition with, let's say, 24 or 30 frames per second. And we can get our, let's say, stop motion jittery look we are after. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Obviously, the smog and kangaroos were given exactly the same treatment and lengthy composited to achieve the final animation.